So Derby County are in a mess at the moment all over the papers this morning with the Midlands side being docked 12 points after falling in to administration. The points deductions leave Derby County at the foot of the championship table with minus two points. Despite the turmoil at the club, Wayne Rooney, manager, refuses to give up the fight and is determined to help Derby get out of their current situation. I'm committed to this football club. Um, I'm ready to fight. It's now I grew up in, in on a council estate in, in Liverpool. I know how tough things can be. I know how tough life can be. And we're in a tough moment. But if you put the work in and you put the effort in, you can get through it. And as I said, um, on Saturday after the game, I'm committed to helping this football club get through it. I care about the players. I care about the staff here. What, what type of person would I be if I walk away now and go and put my feet up, go on holiday and sit in the sun for a few weeks? Trev, what's going on here? By all accounts, the papers today, <coughs> Wayne had to kid on him. He was a doctor trying to hold a Mel Morris owner. This is a joke. Yeah. Are you surprised? Well, I, I, I said to Ray yesterday, I was in Marleybone, beautiful part of London, and a guy sitting having a coffee said to me, oh, what about my club? I said, by the way, I love, I love the radio. What about my club? I went, who? He said, Derby. He says, what about our owner? I went, I don't know him. He well, said, and he <coughs> did not have a lot of good things to say about him. No. Well, for me, he's not covered himself in glory. Um, it, you start getting telltale signs. When you're trying to sack a player and letting two other players off with, with Richard Keogh, yeah, straight away I'm thinking... Alarm bells are ringing. Then you're trying to gamble your way to glory by trying to bring in players to get promoted by just rushing it through and, and trying to get their ASAP. Then you're trying to make your own rules um, with the financial fair play where the, the, the Premier League, the, the way that they dock the, um, the, the worth of a player that you've brought in, it's in, I think it's, if it's a five-year contract, it's 20% a year and they were trying to do it differently. You're trying to make his own rules. Up. Listen, I didn't. I, I'm not surprised this is happening. But for Wayne Rooney to have to pretend that he is the club doctor so yeah. he can speak to his owner, I mean that's a shambles. Mm. I feel. Absolutely I feel shambles. gutted. For, I feel gutted for, for Wayne. I was with him about a month ago playing at Michael Carrick's golf do, and you could tell he had the bit between his teeth. You know, he, he wants to do well. He's brought these players in. He's got a relationship with them and he wants them to do well and he wants to do well. Yeah. And uh, yeah, no, listen, I'm, I'm pleased he's come out fighting like he has done yesterday. I think what he said, you know, he's come from a council, council estate. He knows how tough things can get. He's not going to walk away. So hopefully he'll stay in there. It will be an unbelievable achievement if he can keep Derby County up this season, especially with that points. I'm reduction. trying to work out how Wayne got through, saying he was a doctor. The doctor, by all accounts, is Welsh. <laughs> Well, he must, yeah, he must have a good accent. Yeah, absolutely. But <laughs> I, I think the fans are going to play a massive part as well. They've got to be right behind the team every single home game. Don't worry about what's happening behind the scenes. Really get behind the team, like Wayne has said. Uh, and they had a brilliant, brilliant result last week, didn't they? They beat Stoke last week. Mm. So that's what they've got to keep doing, trying to get results. They've got some tricky games coming up. If they don't lose any, if, United away. They don't lose any more points, guys. You know, look, I think they're saying there will be. It's more easier points said than done going on a little run, but they're not, they're not dead and buried yet, are they? Absolutely not. And what is he? Forty six games in that in that league. You've got ages. If you can get on a good run and get a good run of wins together, they, they can easily overcome that twelve point. It, the problem is if they get more. But Ray, like, listen, we've been in football most of our lives. Why do we keep on seeing these owners thinking that they can make their own rules up and mm. gamble and cheat and not do it? It's simple football. You invest in your community. You get a good scout and you get a good academy. You bring in some good players and you work your socks off. There's no other way to do it. Yeah. The problem here, um, Trev, th th they're not going to continue to work together. One's going to go. Well, he's not the owner anymore, is he? The administrator now. Yeah. He's going to in charge. do whatever he's got to do for the club's point of view now or, or what's best for everybody. So you think but, Morris but will walk away? I there'll don't. be loads of loads of takers for Derby County. It's I'm a sure there, there'll be loads of people trying to get a, to take over. Um, I'm sure the inland revenue, I think it's 26 million owed. They, there's always a deal done there, I should imagine. Um, and let's hope Derby can get back on track because this is a massive yeah. club. I remember well, playing at the baseball oh, ground. And, brilliant, loved it. Yeah, yeah. and obviously the pride Trev, so, so Wayne, we, we touched on this earlier, Trevor, that Wayne could walk away and, you know, he's got enough to live 10 yeah. lifetimes. Yeah. Um, is this a fantastic learning curve for him that he could, this could make or break him? I'm not sure well, about fantastic. I'm not sure about fantastic learning curve, but I think it's an important one for him. You know, he had his he had his slip up a couple of months ago, and and I thought that was a good good experience for him. Just 
when you're a leader of men, you can't get yourself into situations like that. So I thought that was an important lesson for him, which I think he's, he's responded well to that. I think the fact that he's staying around, like you just mentioned there, Al, he doesn't need to do this. He's, he's you know, he, he's absolutely polluted with, with money. He doesn't need to do this. So the fact that he wants to do it means he wants to better himself. He knows that if he just puts his feet up and, and doesn't do anything, does a little bit of media here and there, that's not going to stimulate him. He loves football. He wants to stay involved at the top, at the elite part of the game. And he's, and he's fighting tooth and nail to stay there. And I think this, if I was an owner of a football club and I seen the way that not so much the beginning of the season, but the way that he's responded over the last few weeks, I'd think, yeah, I'd have him working for me. Mm. Because I think he's come out of it really well. He's, he's enriched what he's all about. And he's kind of reminded people that he's a fighter and he's a, he, he wants to win. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.